Number 41, find the length of the arc of a circle of radius 5.02 miles subtended by the central angle of pi over three. All right, so let's, um, so we're gonna do this in terms of radians. So let's draw our coordinate system and then our unit circle, okay? Well, actually not a unit circle, technically, but let's just draw a circle, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, and you know, right, the measurements here of the relative uh, quadrants. This is zero radians. This is going to be pi over two radians. This is then pi radians. And this is then three halves pi radians. All right. So first of all, what does an angle of pi over three look like? Well, you start with one line on that x-axis on the positive x-axis and now since it's a positive measurement I'm going to draw a second one since it is now a positive pi over 3 what you have to do is you have to rotate pi over 3 radians okay so where should that be well it should be in the first quadrant probably up here somewhere okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it down to meet the circle okay same thing I'm going to do with this red line bring it down to meet with the circle there okay so this measurement here is going to be pi over three radians. How did I know that? Well, you know, this is zero radians and this is pi over two radians. This is, you know, this is a half of a pi. This is a third of a pi, so it's less, right? Now the question is, knowing this subtended angle, let's find this arc length here. So how do we do it? Well, it turns out that there is a relationship between the arc length here, S, the angle subtended, which is theta, and then the measurement of the radius, okay, of the radius. I'll put that part maybe in black, okay? No, nah, that looks, that doesn't look good. I'll leave it in blue, okay, the radius, okay? So what's the radius? Well, it's tells it told us that it's 5.02 miles. So the arc length is equal to the angular measurement multiplied by the radius. That's a very, very straightforward formula. So the angle here though has to be in terms of radians, by the way. So we do know that in terms of radians, it's pi over three. And then what's the R? Well, the radius here was 5.02 miles. So just plug it on into the calculator because I don't think if they're giving you a decimal like that, they probably just want a decimal answer. So take pi, 3.14, multiply by 5.02, and then divide it by 3. And what do you get? 5.26 miles. In other words, <clears throat> the measure. if you were to take now this arc length here, this curved value, this curve here, and you were to straighten the line out, and you took a measurement, you took a measuring tape, be a very long measuring tape, and you measured it out, it would be five and a quarter miles, roughly. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope that helped. Please help us out if you can, then by subscribing. It'd be awesome if you did. Helps that algorithm, um, and it helps us out tremendously. All right, we really do appreciate it. We're hopefully able to offer you uh, help here. Um, and um, yeah, check out some of our other work. We got a whole bunch of other subjects out there, chemistry, physics, biology, all a whole bunch of other stuff, thousands of videos out there. Um, and we solve specific problems. So take a look at OpenStax textbooks. We go through their problems. Even if you're not using the book, who cares? All the questions and concepts are the same, no matter what book you're using. All right. And I guarantee you'll be able to find a very similar, if not identical problem to the one you're having. So check out those books and then check out our videos and we're going to be able to help you. Take care.